<laughs> Brainiacs! What? Are you ready? Yeah! I said Brainiacs! What? Are you ready to feed your brain? Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to Brain Scan, your weekly live streaming new comic book day previewing <laughs> finest live program out of downtown Dearborn, Michigan. Welcome to Green Brain yeah. Comics. <laughs> Woo! That was awesome. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Brain Scan, where we will scan our shelves and show you all the new comics that are hitting the shelves this week, Wednesday, October 23rd. <laughs> 2019. Woo! Yay! I'm We're only 24 hours away. From what? Oh, from New Comic Day? Yeah. yeah. We're less than 24 hours away. We're like 12 hours. Well, like we're, we're 36 hours away. 36 hours away. From my birthday. Oh! oh what? Birthday. Birthday's, Birthday's out. Birthday, Dan. <laughs> oh, Hong Kong! Hong Kong! <laughs> Hong, if you know my I birthday. I don't think you want anyone to know it was your birthday. I'm not afraid. Not this year. Wow. I'm Great ready. Man. I'm embracing my senior citizen nature. Yay. Start getting those ARP catalogs in the mail. Mm, yeah. Oh, no. I am Katie. And I'm Shay. Let's get ready to look at some new comics. Woo. <laughs> Ooh, we got all kinds of people watching. Yay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's Pipe start in. with this magazine over here. <laughs> we have Illustrators Magazine, issue number 27. With this beautiful horse illustration and oh. Native American, Native continental person. Featuring yeah. artists Frederick Remington, Charles Schrevogel, oh. and the Lone Ranger. Oh, he's a... Yeah, I guess he's an artist. Oh. He's an artist of Wild West magic. Yeah. And moving on to our action adventure show, starting with Archie versus Predator 2. Oh, that beautiful hack cover. That's nice. <laughs> Oh, somebody, classic. Yeah, somebody cool did that. Yeah, it's in the classic style, but it's yeah. not a classic artist. Sandy. <laughs> oh, Sandy oh, Joe. Cool. There's probably more. Yeah. Oh, there is. There might be. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There it is. There's another one. Mm, that looks like Phil Hester. That's cool. Is that it? Oh no, nope. there's another one. <laughs> oh, it's hard time. Mm. Wow. No, I don't know either. But mm -hmm. cool. I didn't know there was something. Oh, my oh, God. There's oh. another one. Okay, that's Laura Braga for sure. Right. I think that's all of them. That's a lot. I missed all those. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Ascender number six. Look Ooh. at this. It's so pretty. Oh, look. And we got Ascender trade paperback. The Haunted Galaxy, volume one. Good fantasy. Bad reception number three by Wando. Beautiful cover. Books of Magic, number 13. Also a beautiful cover. Count Crowley, a new number one from Dark Horse, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter. Just in time for Halloween. Ooh, that's right. It's a spooky Halloween. <laughs> uh, this Not looks yet. like a really cool book. I wanted to make it my, my pick of the week, but nah, something else came in front of it. All right. Then we have Criminal, number nine. As well as Crucified, number five. Got one up at the top. We got American Carnage, trade paperback, from DC's Vertigo imprint. Nice. Boy, they keep having these <laughs> Carnage spinoffs. <laughs> oh. Womp womp. <laughs> and we have The Dark, collection one. This is a cool anthology from SourcePoint Press. Dr. Mirage, number three of five. Got that Philip Tan cover. Looks nice. Ooh. That's nice, too. Didn't catch who did that one. Me neither. And then we have Hellboy and the BPRD. Saturn Returns, number three of three. I think that's a Chris, Christopher Mitten cover. Nice. Yeah. And then we got Invisible Kingdom trade paperback, Walking the Path, volume one. Oh, by G. Willow Wilson. Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast, number three of five, Night City. <laughs> <laughs> Xander Cannon's Kaiju Max, season five. Oh, look at this cotton candy disaster. Kaiju Max, season five, picks up at the 
uh, the tail end of the horrible happenings of season four where the whole prison got a shake up. Oh, there's nothing like a prison full of giant monsters. It's my pick of the week. Woo-hoo! Kaiju Max season five, number one. Awesome. And then we have Lola XOXO number three. As well as my pick of the week, it is Middle West number 12. Love this book. So much fun. Actually, not very fun. It's great. Oh, no. <laughs> Horrible things are happening, but it's still a great book. It is beautiful. And then we have Monday Fatality. <laughs> is that a one shot? This looks like it's another one shot from Source Point Press. And then we have a new number one from Vaults called Money Shot. It's just as sexy as it looks, but more fun. Yay, sexy fun. <laughs> and a classic Fantastic Four tribute cover. I was going to say, those people don't look sexy. They look worried. <laughs> Going up to the top. Oh. Helicious Volume 2 Trade Paperback. And? Hexwives hey. Trade Paperback. Hey, that was a fun series. Awesome. I enjoyed that. Horde. From Aftershock. Uh, an hardcover. original hardcover graphic album. From Marguerite Bennett. And back down we have Omni number three. Looks like a Dave Johnson cover. Pretty Violent number three. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Red Sonia and Vampirella meet Betty and Veronica. We've got a couple covers on this one. Oh this is number six. We've got a beautiful cover by Faye Dalton. A beautiful cover by Laura Braga. Dan Parent. And, oh, I think that's it. Yes, that's it. <laughs> there was more, but they got gobbled up by special orders. Gobbled. The Rejected Dead Girl by Source Point. Vault Resonant number four. Giant Angry Bear. <gasps> Savage Dragon number 246. The Scourge Strikes. Getting up there. Oh, wow. Second Coming number four. Oh, boy. Sham Comics number six. Starring Bozo the Robot. Yes. Sharky the... <laughs> Holy crap. Bouncy Hunter. <laughs> number six of six. Nice cover there and a beautiful cover by Tommy Lee Edwards. Mm, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Coincidentally, the artist of the Hazel and Cha Cha one shot. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're like all we're... sold out of shows and Sorry, folks. But then we got Tommy Gun Wizards number three of four with a cover by Christian Ward. Yep. And another cover by, this is actually Ian Bertram. Wow. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, yeah. 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 It's Gotta nice, though. It's very nice. Different color palette, for sure. And, and one more. But not least, it is You Are Obsolete, number two, from Aftershock, of course. Ooh, so many good books over on the Action Adventure Shelf. Yeah. <laughs> Before we jump over, I got a whole bunch of people to oh. say hello to. Yay. Uh, let's see, Macario Berry says, what's up? Hello! What's up, Thanks. Thanks for uh, David Moore says, did I make it? Hey, guys, you how's everyone? <laughs> and then he says, a very happy birthday to me. Aw, it's happy Thursday. <laughs> let's see, Derek Lafferty's watching. Hey, Derek. Hey, Derek. Uh, Nancy Dean says, stay warm over there, our friends. Aw. Yes, we will. Thank we you, are. Nancy. Thank and uh, Philip Little, Ola, Sir Dan the Valiant, and Shay T. Yay! <laughs> Sir Dan the Valiant. Hello. And finally, I just David. see uh, David Eldape just chimes in and says hello to everyone. Oh, hey, hey, David. David. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you followed my Yay. advice. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on over to the indie graphic novel. So we are starting with Cosmo Knights, Volume 1 from Hannah Templar. It looks like a lot of fun, for sure. <gasps> and it's sassy. It's, it's pretty so sassy. sassy. Yeah. Very sassy. My pick of the week, The Dog Days of Sneak Pit, the new Ben Sneak Pit Diary Comics collection. Look at Yay. all the doggies. I'm so excited. We're so excited. So Check out, doggies. we have matching shirts out. <laughs> yeah, we're matching. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. Also, Drifting Classroom, Volume 1. It looks like Ooh. some creepy manga. Creepy. Gaijin, American Prisoner of War, softcover edition. Nice. This is by graphic novelist and Michigander Matt Faulkner. Nice. Uh, this is the first time it's in softcover. 
and it's now sporting an award for the Asian Pacific American Library Association's Children's Literature Award winner. Oh, Children's Literature. All right, well, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Gramercy Park. By these French yeah. people. <laughs> oh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Illustrated. Nice. Yeah, it's a big fancy picture book. Real big. They've done a couple of these for previous books. It's good to have it in print. Open Borders, Science and Ethics of Immigration. Pleading with Stars. Stories oh, by Kurt Ankeny. Ankeny. It's from our pals over at Ad House Books. Oh, nice. The Star Conspiracy from Juan Jimenez? Jimenez? Sure. Yeah. Sure. The Tower in the Sea by B. Muir. These books are beautiful. Please take a look at them Beamier. at some point because, wow. Yeah, didn't I we get... Oh, there it is. Yeah, they're all connected. Ones. They're the same subject matter. They're awesome. Very similar style. Very nice. Oh, and there's the other one. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I think we got one more down here. One yeah. more down here. My Dog Ivy, A July Diary. It's not my dog. From Gabrielle Bell. <laughs> it's not my dog. <laughs> my dog. It's not my dog. I just pretend it's my dog. It just plays my dog on TV. That wraps up our Indie Graphic huh? Novel Show as we mosey on over to the middle of the store. What are you doing? You're going to make everybody dizzy. Uh, mosey on over to the middle of the store here. We're going to show you about all the new variant covers that we got in this week. Ooh. We got Immortal Hulk number 25. That's nice. Who did that one? Do you know? It's uh, Andrea Sorrentino. And then we've got... <laughs> I was just going to move the other one. Immortal Hulk number 25 again. That's by Kevin McGuire. The Amazing Mary Jane, a new number one from Marvel. It's by uh, Gomez. Juan Gomez, maybe? Nice. Mm. Marauders number one from Marvel. That's by Todd Nock. Uh-huh. And then we have Marauders number one. And that is Philip Tan. Awesome. Beautiful cover. And The yeah. Amazing Mary Jane, again. Oh, you know, I never looked this artist up. Yes, I'm, you did. It was Anna Rudd. Anna Rudd. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Anna Rudd. Yes. Awesome. Look at all of them. They're so pretty. So beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. And moving on to our events. Thanks to everybody who came to our brain candy on yesterday. <laughs> yes, we had a stellar show last night on Brain Candy. It was so much fun. Awesome! And coming up very soon, uh, we have Halloween Comic Fest yeah. on the 26th. All day! We'll be giving out free comics and we'll have special guests Dirk Manning and Scoop McMahon. That's right. That is this Saturday, a mere four ish days away, depending on what day you're watching this. Awesome! Two days after my birthday. <gasps> Yay, birthday dance! Every second Saturday of the month, uh, bring your own game or try out our own growing selection of demo games. And then, um, actually this one comes first, <laughs> on <laughs> someone's birthday, maybe oh. not mine, oh. mine. <laughs> oh. on my birthday, we have Brain Candy, which is the third Monday of every month. Live reading, music, art, poetry, from 7 to 9. Woohoo! Shay says she's going to be here for that one. Yes, I will. <laughs> DC shelf. We'll start with Aquaman Annual, issue number two. Yeah. Oh. That's it. Yeah, that's the annuals only have one cover. Hooray! <laughs> Batgirl number 40. With a variant cover Whoa. by Javi Fernandez. Oh, wow. It's deceased. <laughs> number 40. 
Detective number 1014. Victor Freeze finally kind of looks cool. With a <gasps> very cover by Paul Pope. Paul Pope. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Also, Batman Superman issue number three. <laughs> a cover by series artists, right? Yep. And B cover by... Oh my god, I just remembered it. Hold on. Oh, Paolo Pantolina. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he is looking pretty creepy. He's rawr. He's all like rawr. He's all like rawr. <laughs> Batman Curse of the White Knight number four of eight. A and B cover by Sean Murphy. <gasps> Very nice. Look out, Alfred's got a sword. Alfred looks so badass. Uh, yes, he does. Batman Beyond number 37. Cover by Francis Mandipole. Nice. And that's all we got. Yeah, we already sold out of the A cover. Mm -hmm. You're the villain, Black Adam. One shot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dial H for hero number 8 of 12. This guy looks funny. Mm. <laughs> he kind of looks like Space Ghost. <laughs> the Flash, number 81. He's doing his warm-up stretches. There's the regular cover. Whoa. And covered by Gillamarch. They're all like, rise up. He's stretching his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Justice League Dark, number 16. It's uh, Yannick Paquette. B covered by Tony Infante. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is really cool. I like it. Mm-hmm. Going up to the top. Freedom Fighters, 10 of 12. And it looks like Neil Adams, but I think it's Eddie Barrows. It's this guy. Yeah. Remember that is? Yep, yes. he borrows. Army Brentwood. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Old Barrows. <laughs> Martian Manhunter, number 9 of 12. Look right. at that beautiful Whoa. cover by Joshua Middleton. I like it. I like this cover, too. Naomi Hardcover, season 1. Awesome. Mm. Collecting the complete six-issue miniseries. It's a good book. Yeah. A beautiful art by Jamal Campbell. Oh, yes. Red Hood Outlaw, number 39. Got a Roca Fort cover. And a B cover by... Whoa. By Camo. 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 He's just squirt. Yes. Walking him. Yeah, yeah there's, and falling. <laughs> there's all kinds of blood going on there. Uh, Superman Action Comics, 1016. This is a job for Naomi. Yay, Naomi's nice. back. That's a B cover by Brian Hitch. Oh. Nice. That's deceased. <laughs> we got a 100-page Swamp Thing giant. Wow. Is she holding a football? Is he bleeding? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, it's his heart? It's his... Oh, it's a tuber. No? I don't no, know what's going on. It's his heart tuber. It's his heart tuber. Yeah. It, it looks like a football. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> DC Dollar Comics, Swamp Thing number one from the classic Wayne Ween Wrightson era. Yeah, <laughs> One dollar. The Terrifics number twenty-one. Got standard cover by boop, boop, boop. Mm -hmm. boop, boop. Uh -huh. and a B cover by Blech. Tony Chastine. Wow. Wow. That's bloody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These DC's covers are pretty gruesome. And wrapping up our oh nope, we got one more. Uh we got Wonder Woman number eighty one. Hey, look at Cheetah. And a B cover by <gasps> Jenny Frizzell. It's so pretty. Always. Always. Those covers are just amazing. Last but not least, up on our top shelf, we got Teen Titans Turn It Up Volume 2. Yay. Volume 2. Turn It Up. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Is that Freedom Rock, man? Is that Freedom Fighters? Well, turn it up, man. <laughs> ah, she doesn't get it. Okay, I want to say hello to a couple more people. Let's see, J-Dub Williams says he'll be here this Saturday. Wonderful. Oh. Come on down for Halloween Comic Fest. And also I see our pal Sunshine Durant is watching. <gasps> Sunshine. Hey, Sunshine. Hey, Sunshine. Hey, Sunshine. You should come out with us on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. I got to get that going, don't I? Yeah. All right. Wait till last minute. Let's see what we got here. Moving on to our Marvel show, starting with... Agents of Atlas, number three. He's all hmm. wondering. Yes, he is. Hmm. And then we have Avengers, number 25. Challenge Look. of the Ghost Riders finale. Look at all those Ghost Riders. With uh, Marvel's 25th anniversary by Alex Ross. Pretty. Oh, we actually have another cover. Oh, oh. 
Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, and a Mary Jane variant from Jay Anacleto. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like how they're all raw and these really forceful poses. She's like, oh, I'm just hanging out in my <laughs> It's fine. Absolute carnage. We got a second print of number three. No, we got them all in print. Yay. Hooray. Boop, boop, boop. One, two, three. Great Absolute job, Marvel. Absolute carnage. Lethal <laughs> protectors number three of three with a cover by Greg Smallwood and another cover. That's the A cover. By Ebon Coelho. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, Ebon. Ebon. Very nice. And then we have a Both second print up. of number one also. Well, look at that. <laughs> We got them all. Absolute carnage. <laughs> Contagion, number four of five, covered by Ryan Brown and RA covered by Juan Jose Rip. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Creepy. Uh, one at the top. We got Black Cat, number four, second print. Nice. And then we have Fearless, number four of four. Look at this beautiful cover by Jenny Frizen. Nice. That's the connector cover. And RA cover as well. Uh, is that Jamal Campbell? I think he's been doing A's on those. Oh, it's Yasmin Putri. Yasmin Putri, that's who it is. Oh, and then we have Ghost Spider number three. Nice cover by who is that? J M. Jorge Molina. Ah. And an amazing Mary Jane variant by Russell Dodderman. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. Oh, nice. The Immortal Hulk number six. Director's cut. Six of six. Oh. And then we have Immortal Hawk, number 25. Variant cover by Bennett. What's the first name? Joe Bennett. Joe Bennett. And a nice cover Mary Jane variant by Chris Anka. And we got the main one <laughs> by Alex Ross. Look at that. Nice. So spacey. Let's put that speaker on in the front. Oh. Going up. Epic collection. Here comes Daredevil, the man without fear. Oh, no, actually, it's a woman called Wildo. Widow. <laughs> Wildo. It's a, Widow. It's, a, it's an odd, co odd cover choice for an, a woman called Widow and have the owl on it. But, all you right. Know. Sure. Sure. That's epic collection. And then we got another epic collection, Doctor Strange, which is how I imagine this is pronounced because of the, <laughs> hey, <laughs> the hey. wavy font. Hey, wiggly font. <laughs> Triumph and Torment. There's, there, there's the widow. <laughs> She's swimming. <laughs> hey, before we get too far, I uh -oh. just want to oh. uh, catch this Marvel Action Avengers Book 2 down the, here on the lower shelf for the, the kitties. The Ruby Egress. Okay, back to the regular program. We've got Tony Stark Iron Man, variant edition by Raza, um, which is a Mary Jane variant, and an A cover by Lozano. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and then we have the amazing Mary Jane. How about that? Number one from Marvel. Gee, I wonder why there were so many Mary Jane covers. <laughs> <laughs> and a beautiful B cover by Art Germ. Oh my wow. God, it's so pretty. That's it. That's cool. Leave that one in front. Yes. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man number 32. This is a Patrick Gleason 2099 variant. And we've got a Mary Jane variant by Mahmoud Azrar. And we actually have another hmm? variant hmm? by Art Adams. Wow. This okay. is the one of the eight part connector covers. Hey, look, it's Punk Spider-Man. <laughs> yes. And then we have The Amazing Spider-Man Full Circle. This is a giant book, and we got two covers for that. Hmm. Is that a Chris Bocciolo B cover, maybe? Maybe. It looks like it. Hmm. It's a lot of creators on this book. So. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of creators on this book. There's a lot of, like, marmosets on this book. <laughs> and all the marmosets. I don't know what those guy weasels. Spider-Man Life Story, trade paperback by Chip Zdarsky and Mark Bagley. Collects the six-issue part. And then we have Spider-Man Velocity, number three of five. Oh, on our top shelf, we've got more books. The Incredible Hulk, facsimile edition, number one. Future Fights First, Luna Snow, number one, covered by Lee and Duke. And a variant edition by Coax. And we've got Oops. one more on that one. Oh. It's Sana Takeda. Wow. I love it. It's so pretty. Nice. And then we got Miles Morales Spider-Man, second print of number 10. 
Legacy number 250. Mm -hmm. Oh. Punisher Kill Crew number 405, covered by Tony Moore. Look, it's a Black Knight. <laughs> Second print of number four of Silver Surfer Black. I think we should look at it this way. Such a trippy cover. Better. Wow. Amazing. So good, though. Strike Force, number oh. two. And then we got King Thor, number two. Hooray, King Thor. As well as a second print of number one. Jane Foster Valkyrie, number four, variant Mary Jane by Emma Lupacino. I wonder if they're related to the Lupacino, the other person? <laughs> Wait, is that just the only person? Yeah, I think that's okay, the same person. Okay, cool, never mind. And the A cover as well. I think that's uh, also Mahmoud Osrar. Nice. We've got Write Your Own Marvel Trade Paperback. <laughs> this is a weird <laughs> book. They basically took all the words out of the balloon. Yeah. You can be like, holy crap, <laughs> if you want. <laughs> or it could be like, gosh, it's wet in here. Or I hate water. <laughs> I hate water. <laughs> you can put whatever you want. Uh, let's go up to the top first okay. here. We've got House of X. More printings. We've got fourth print of number two. And a third print of number three. It's done. It's done. And then we have Powers of X. This Second is actually print. third print. Oh, oh. But I had to grab a different cast. Third print of number three. And a fourth print of number two. Wow. So many printings. And then finally, to wrap up the Marvel shelf, we've got a new number one. And it's called Marauders. Look at all these covers. That cover by Russell Dodderman. That cover by, I don't know. That is Every Mutant Ever Variant by Mark Bagley. We got another. Look at that beautiful storm cover by Whoa. Aaron Cooter. Love that one. Design Variant by... Hello, Mueller. Another cover by Russell Dutterman. Nice. And that's I it. like it. And that's it. And we've got just oh. a couple more things on the we lower shelf. True believers. Oh, we got a Marvel action back right there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, let's look at these. Okay. Okay, so we got a True Believers number one, X Men Apocalypse number one for a dollar, and then we got an X Men Quanin for a dollar, <laughs> and then we have Marvel Action Spider Man number 10. <laughs> that was a lot of books. Ooh. That's a lot of books. And, we're not done. And, and in response to that, uh, Mike Hilly says, That's a lot of spider stuff this week. That's a lot of spider books. That it's, it is. It's spooky spider time for That's right. Halloween is spider time. It is. I walked through many spider webs this week. <laughs> Moving on down to the Star Wars shelf, we have Star Wars number 73. Star Wars Allegiance number three. Oh. Oh. That dude on Fancy the cover. Fancy photo cover. We got Star Wars Adventures number four, Return to Vader's Castle. That brain... <gasps> Vault of the Living oh Brains. It's purple though, and the green the cover is green and purple. Yeah, I think we just switched them around. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge trade paperback. Yes. Collection. And that's it for Star Wars. Moving on down to the YA shelf. We have Angel number six. Hellmouth. Dan Panosian cover. Uh, I oh. think these are FOC covers that maybe don't have credit. Weird dude. Guy sitting on a rock. <laughs> pink, wow. pink cover. Angry guy with a sword. And I think that's all of them. Archie, Volume 2, Varsity Edition, Omnibus. This collects the classic Mark Wade material with art by Joe Eisma, Pete Woods, and more. Woohoo! The Power of the Dark Crystal, Volume 2. <laughs> In soft cover. In soft cover. G.I. Joe, number two. Hope, number five, written by, oh, our special guest on Saturday, Dirk Manning. How about that? And that wraps up the YA shelf. I'm just so used to these shelves going on forever. We've got Mortal Instruments, the third volume. We have also have a fifth volume of Space Boy. We've got all the volumes. Space Boy's breakout hit. It's awesome. Space Boy. And a few more on our tween shelf. We have the Barry Brook Middle School box set, which <gasps> includes the new book, 
Diary, a Berry Book School special, of course. And then it's got cool journaling and no paper. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool. similar in style and format. I, well, I haven't flipped through it yet, but from the description to the Rain and Telgemeier make. Your own. Yeah, it also uh, includes thing uh, and also includes short stories. The other one that we just got, the Dogman Guide to Creating Your Own Comics. So they're all interactive books in yeah. the sense that you could fill in your own parts of the books. And also just wanted to mention that Svetlana Shmakova is an award winning. She won the uh, Dwayne McDuffie Dwayne Excellence McDuffie and Award Kids Comics Award from uh, HUCAF a couple of years back. And all of her stuff is very highly acclaimed. So. And last but not least, we have Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, The Case of the Missing Adults by Scott Brian Wilson and Bob Solonovix. Looks like a good fun style for Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. Wow, look at that. Also seems like not a problem that kids would complain about when the adults are missing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps up our tour of the store. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for joining us on BrainScan. Be sure to tune into our live stream every Tuesday around 6.30 on Facebook. But don't worry if you miss it because you can catch us later on our YouTube channel. And also be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that we stay in your feed and you never miss an episode. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics at Facebook, Instagram, uh, and if you've noticed an increased activity on our Instagram account, that is all thanks to team member Tam. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Give her a shout out when you're in if you're enjoying her fancy Instagram posts. Oh, yeah. Uh, on Twitter, though, we are Green Brain CMX. Oh, well, yes. And we are always spreading the love of comic books and graphic novels since 1985 from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn. Feed your brain! At Green Brain Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Good to hear from all you folks. Yes, hi everybody that, that tuned in, chimed in. Thanks for chiming in. Thanks for watching. Check out the website. Send us orders through Comic Hub. It's gonna be